Hey, what's up everyone? Bonjour à tous, how's everyone doing? So today we're going to Kirol and Brenna's house uh, for the second time. This is part two of building Zenitu Sword. Let's go! So I am back at Kiro's house and this is my sword. It has been sanded down already, but I need to put a second layer of uh, bondo because there are some parts of the sword that's, uh, that's missing a little bit. So I'm going to go over it a second time, sand it a second time and uh, yeah, and then it's going to be ready for priming. And now you can see how I'm applying the bondo onto the sword. Uh, I'm basically just using a little piece of wood that uh, I've sanded to make it flat so that I can kind of like just paint the bondo over my sword. All right, so I just put another layer of bondo onto my sword and uh, now I'm just uh, waiting for the bondo to dry and then I'm going to sand it a second time. Meanwhile, while I was working on that, Kirol was on his computer trying to model the guard for Zenitsu and here I'm going to show you a little close-up of the guard. This is how it looks like, it has a bunch of little triangles in the middle and right now at this point he was working on the outline of the guard. Okay, so while Kirol is finishing modeling the guard on his computer, I need to finish uh, sanding the sword because uh, we also need to prime it and then we need to wait about two hours for the paint to dry so I need to do that now so let's do it. And while I was editing this video I had an idea in mind. Do you know how some YouTubers post videos of them just cooking without saying anything? Those kind of like ASMR video? Well I was thinking that maybe I could do something similar but with building props and sanding. Um, I don't know, that's just an idea out there, but anyway, here, enjoy a um, one minute video of me just sending to the soundtrack of Dragons from Breath of the Wild, so just relax and enjoy. This is it, so what did you think? So that was just one minute, but I was thinking of doing something maybe more like in the range of five to ten minutes long. I don't know about you, but to me, this is really relaxing and I enjoy it a lot, so I'm going to post a couple more of those during this video. I am done sanding the sword for the second time and now it's super smooth. I think it's ready for priming. Yeah, that looks really good. Alright, so I'm done with sending, so now let's go check uh, the progress on uh, Kiro's work. Alright, so I am back with Kiro and uh, I think he's about done with uh, modeling the guard. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. uh, there's these little, little pieces that go on the Suba and I am getting these model on there right now. So oh, these nice. little pieces. I already printed the triangles for some of it. Yeah. But it's two, it's two halves because there's different parts that intersect. Getting that ready right now. Oh, it's looking really good. Mm -hmm. Thanks. So yeah, the triangles that I gave you a second ago, well, you have to sand each one. Okay. Which would be <laughs> super fun. You have to sand each one 
twice. Oh no! So you'll just sand all those little triangles, and then you'll glue them in. It'll just be easier to sand them separately, and then glue them in instead of having them attached to this. And then you'll have to sand in between each little triangle, yeah. and then you'll have to sand the walls of the triangle, and then you have to sand the tops of the triangle. So it's easier yeah. to sand the triangles, Super sand this first. whole thing yeah. as a flat piece, and then just glue the triangles in. Then we'll prime it all at once. Yeah, that makes sense. So it'll. It'll seem like a lot of work, but it'll actually be a lot less work. Okay. So it'll be way faster that way. All right. So while he's finishing modeling everything, I'm going to go back to the sanding station and I'm going to sand all of those little triangle pieces. And uh, then, then we, we'll be ready to do some priming on the sword, I guess. Yeah. Once the sword is done priming, I mean, yeah. Once the once the sword is done sanding, then mm -hmm. we can prime your sword and my sword, and we have the handles that you can work on also. Okay. I already have yeah. your handle printed, so you can clean support material out of those and sand on those too. Okay. Cool. While we're waiting on the primer to dry for the sword, so. Nice. Yeah, and then hopefully by the time we've sprayed the primer and the primer's dry and that you've worked on the handle, each half of this will be done in about an hour. Yeah. So I'm already printing one right now. If you want to. If you want to take a look at that, like okay. half of it's already printing, and then okay. um, the other half will be finished modeling, and I'll be printing that half as well. Okay. So we'll have yes. your guard today, and then probably during the week, I'll have the the sheath finished modeling, and then I'll model, and then I'll print the sheath for both yours and mine. Okay. And I'll get a head start on that during the week, so then we can start hopefully painting everything by next weekend. Nice, awesome. Yeah. All right, thank you so much yeah. for ta taking some uh, time for m modeling all yeah. of this. You're going to get a very fat tip someday. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to the sanding station. And now I need to sand all of those little tiny triangle pieces. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So here I am trying to sand those tiny little pieces of triangle. Uh, and uh, I don't know if you can see, but those little triangles were very tiny and it was difficult to have a good grip on them and trying to sand at the same time. Uh, see how small that is? And I was trying to not sand my own skin at the same time, but uh, yeah, that was difficult. But luckily, uh, Kirill had some tips for me. So, a tip for sanding all these little tiny triangles, and since it's hard to hold it, you don't want to have to like be doing this because that yeah. sucks. You put it on you put the sandpaper that is adhesive back on this right yeah and then you can just take it and just sand on that that way and then don't lose it and don't, don't, lose, don't lose them <laughs> Good. and then you can sand it that way like that and since it's a very tiny surface yeah. a, few, a few back and yeah should be enough right? yeah it's so small okay and uh, do I need to sand the flat surface? It's pretty, pretty, no, pretty flat side, already. No, yeah. one side is going to get glued, yeah. so that's going to be the back, but I think we should sand the other side. Okay. So, just sand one side of the flat surface. Okay. You might have to just, like, spin it a little bit, like this. And then it'll sand like that. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, and now it is time to relax to the soundtrack of Mifa's theme from Breath of the Wild. Alright, so I'm done sending all of those little tiny pieces of triangle right here. So that was a pain, but this is finally done. And now I'm going to start uh, taking off all of the support material for the handle. 
So there are four pieces that I need to clean. So yeah, let's uh, let's go. And here you can see that I'm trying to remove all of the support material with a screwdriver just like last time. So let's uh, fast forward all of that to the soundtrack of uh, Hateno's Village. pieces here I'm done with all uh, three pieces I still have one more to go but look at what Kiro just finished printing this is the guard of the Zenitsu blade and wow it looks really good and you said there are two uh, two pieces for that right yeah it's two sides okay so that's it should be here to print it as two different halves okay so that's going to be on top yeah and the other one is going to be yeah. on the bottom okay yeah. Same thing. Yeah, and then really after good. you sand that by itself, you'll be able to glue all the little triangles in and then we'll prime it all as one piece. Nice, awesome. Yeah, well, it's awesome, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so I got everything cleaned up and uh, let me show you how everything is going to uh, get pieced together. So this piece right here is going to go right here. And then you're going to have this other piece that goes on top here. And then those two pieces right here are going to go right there at the bottom. But right now, what I need to do is I need to sand this part right here because here it's not loose, it's very tight. And it needs to slide in pretty easily. So right now I'm going to sand the inside of this part and the inside of this part and then I'm going to glue those two pieces together. And so now it was time for me to glue pieces of the handle together and uh, so just like last weekend I uh, started applying this uh, solvent onto uh, both parts of the handle and uh, that solvent is basically going to melt the plastic together uh, and so yeah Look at my face, oh my god, I look so ugly, what am I doing? Why am I making such an ugly face? I don't know, such a dumb face. And look at my hair, wow, my hair is so messy. But uh, yeah, anyway, oh, and uh, what is Kiro doing in the background? He's like closing the garage, but not really. He's like checking something, I don't know why he's checking. Like <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm uh, pressing really hard on both pieces of the handle right now and look at Kiro. What are you doing? Just walking nonchalant being like, I don't know what I want to do now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now I'm pressing really hard on both pieces together, trying to make sure that it's tight and well positioned and then once it's um, at the right place, uh, I can use the clamps that Kiril has uh, at his workshop. And uh, those clamps are actually really useful. You just need to squeeze the handle a couple of times and that's it, it's clamped. And then it was time to work on the bottom parts of the handle. So just like all of the other pieces, I have to sand them, make sure it's straight, and then put some glue on both sides of the handle and then put them together. And what's good with this solvent is that you have a couple of uh, seconds uh, to work on it. Uh, it doesn't dry instantly, so that's really useful to make sure your uh, pieces are well aligned. 
And then finally, it was time to take a well deserved break from sanding all day and working on cosplay crops. So we went one more time to Texas Roadhouse, Kiro's favorite place. <laughs> And I regret eating so much bread because I had no more space to finish my steak, unfortunately. But their steak are so good. Also, we both had two very good margaritas. So if you've never been to Texas Roadhouse, I highly recommend you check it out at least once. So here are some additional pieces that are going to go onto my guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty late now. We wanted to prime and... Yeah. Uh, I can probably do that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we so, ate so much food. We, we, we were supposed to prime the saw tonight. Yeah, we went to dinner and we ate so much food, so we're too lazy to work now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm probably going to end this vlog here, but hopefully next weekend I'm going to be more productive. There's still a lot I need to do on the guard. Uh, so you I just have pieces you can take home with you. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to bring the little pieces back home, I'm going to send them. Okay, you can take these two and send these. I can give you more sandpaper if you need it. Okay, and then once everything has been sanded, next weekend, we can just... You can all of it at once, like your guards and the handle and like everything. And So we can just do painting basically. Yeah. No, nothing to print, nothing to sand, yeah. everything is done. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have to sand the sheath, but that's like its own thing, you know what I mean? It's different okay. from the sword, so... How would I paint my like electricity? Oh, sure. We have like tape masking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's gonna be very tedious for you. I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> I'll help that's, you. That's fine. Yeah. All right, but uh, yeah, that's it for me for this vlog. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if uh, you liked it, and uh, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.